this job and stick it in your all right this is carl gerber from the carl gerber workplace lawyer show and i'm proud to announce we're going to be back on the radio from 5 30 to 6 on saturdays on kbc am 790 or am 79 if you're really old we're also going to try to do some live streaming and we will post the episodes after the show We've been on a bit of a hiatus in 2021 until now because things just got uh, too much with the pandemic. I really had the focus on the law practice, the lack of people helping me there. I tried a lot of cases, did a lot of work, and now we're back. The show is going to initially focus on Los Angeles history, the first lawyers in California and Los Angeles, the first episode to be heard May 14th, 2022 at 5.30 on KBC. We'll talk about the first Hispanic lawyers in Los Angeles because it was part of Mexico. And then it became California. We will talk about also the first Jewish lawyer in Los Angeles. Well, he wasn't in Los Angeles. He really was in San Francisco when he became a Supreme Court Justice fast. So that's what we're going to hit early on. We do plan to get into some, <laughs> how do we say, <laughs> sketch comedy that is certainly more entertaining and much, much better to listen to than just listening to history. Although we do have quite a following on the whole history issue. There's a lot of videos on the Carl Gerber with a K channel that have had many views about Los Angeles history and the articles are extensive and it is something that I do keep up on. So it's a toss up really whether we have a lot of focus on Los Angeles history or we get into some sketch comedy. Sketch comedy is, it it's easier in some respects to do. It takes a lot longer to write. It's fun. Los Angeles history requires a lot of research and I get stuck on facts and I want to make sure they're right and I can spend a whole night or a whole day just trying to fact check something. Sometimes I can't. That's a little bit tedious because as a historian, I don't want to present something that's inaccurate. And a lot of what is out there is inaccurate. For instance, we're going to talk about Judge Olvera. That's Olvera Street. And he was the first judge in Los Angeles. And his birthday varies by three years between 1817 and 1820, depending on who you read. And then Next week after this one coming up, we're going to be talking about the first black lawyer in Los Angeles. Very interesting story with the first black and Chinese lawyers. And that one, there is just an incredible amount of misinformation out there. Wrong facts, things that sound like story fables. And you encounter that sometimes in history, and that takes a lot longer to reconcile if you want to present it correctly. But I only present historic facts correctly, won't do it in any other way, and I may say I'm not sure on this fact, but if you're a real historian, you get into things that no one really has researched, you find things out, and that's what I do. And so preparing an article of historical significance could easily take 40 hours, it could take longer. And the same with the radio show where I'm covering that. So we're mixed between talking about the L.A. stuff, sketch comedy, and hopefully not employment law because that really is boring. I do it all day, and it's probably the only thing I could actually do full-time. Um, plus, full-time plus, I don't just do it 40 hours a week. And it's something to keep you going your, your whole life because there's a lot to the legal profession. There's a lot to representing employees in court and appeals and all the rest and all the socioeconomic stuff and the personalities and the fact that we're trying to help people who don't have jobs and don't have good stuff going on in their life. But um, to talk about employment law every week is just kind of boring. That's why we incorporated in the sketch comedy. But there, there is a possibility that the show will be on during the week, during the evenings. And if that does happen, that's an incredible opportunity. And I will be taking callers, which is something I, I didn't do a lot when I was on the weekends. But the callers would talk about employment law. And that would allow me 
to do a show that's more focused on employment law because I just think talking about what's going on, the developments, and there are a lot of developments sometimes in employment law. I mean, the United States Supreme Court is, is hearing a case right now. They heard it. They're deciding it quite soon on PAGA. I don't think it's of interest to the general population. So I think that we'd have to have some callers or something. But for right now, we're coming back for half an hour shows, 5.30 to 6. I, I want to have an audience that wants more. They want to feel like they want more when the show is over with, not being on for a long time and having to fill content. Filling an hour is really hard if you have a planned show like I do, and you're not just showing up and talking about whatever. So uh, our format is a little more than I can sign on to do immediately because of the pandemic and what's still going on because of it and just extensive trials I have. But um, if we're able to get it going during the week, we'll do that, we'll tell you about it. And that show would have to involve people calling in and talking to me and talking about employment law. So we'll see how it goes, but we're coming back. We're coming back on May 14th, 536 KBC 790, same station, and you can follow this channel. We will put the episodes up. It was taking me a whole day on the weekend to put pictures in when we, we were doing this last. I don't know um, if I'm going to be able to do that or not. It really was very time consuming, but um, the show should be on the internet at some point also, and they will maybe have images, maybe they won't, uh, maybe less images. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure I can devote a whole day to, to doing that right now. So listen this weekend, 530 to 6, KBC, and stay tuned on this channel for the Carl Gerber Workplace Lawyer Show. We are back. This job and stick it in your...